with Neighbours being back now and unexpectedly, how confident do you feel about its, its sort of longer term future now? Because, you know, nothing sure in life, but, you know, do you feel yeah. it's got a good future ahead of it? But I do, I do think it has a very good future ahead of it for two reasons. The first is it kind of was never in a position to go in in the first place. We'd always had a loyal audience and a, a great audience. But what's happened by having a hiatus, by having this time off, is that, and by having a two year gap in story as well, it's it meant that the writers and the, the producers, the technical department, everybody can re examine neighbours and say, okay, we get, a, we get a redo. How many shows get a redo? Let, what could we do to make this show even bigger and better? So now that we've had the opportunity to film five months' worth and see just how good we can get this show, how, what we can elevate it to, I'm very, very confident when people come back, because of the buzz around mm. it, they'll go, man, this is a great show. I didn't realise. I thought, I thought Neighbours was all about Kylie and Jason. No, no, it's not. Mm. It's, it's, it's a modern, contemporary drama, diverse drama and fascinating. Georgia, your character have been in it for what two or three years already. So mm. you know you've got a, a chance now to see a different stage of Mackenzie's life. Mm. You know wh where would you like to see the, the character go? Because you know you've, you've done a lot already. But. Yeah, for sure. Um, I I remember telling the producers just a, a few weeks ago that I just want to keep being challenged. Just and anything they want to throw at me, I'm 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 ready for and I want to do. Yeah. I mean, I always I I love I love the, the crazy storylines. I love the trauma. <laughs> I think that's really fun. But at the same time, one of the reasons why I did want to come back was I wanted to give Mackenzie a happier resolution than when she had when the show ended. It was quite yeah. tragic. So I, I I want to give Mackenzie some healing and 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 some happiness and some joy. Mm. Um, but you know, before getting there, all all the crazy drama just keep throwing at me. I love yeah. it. That's what I keep telling them. Yeah, because you've had a wedding, of course. Would you like to have another wedding before you're done? Oh, I don't know about that, but I mean, I won't <laughs> say no. Oh, yeah. neighbours does a lot of weddings. There are a few. Weddings. I was just really happy that I got one wedding, even though it lasted like you know three days. I know. I think yeah. that was you know that was so cool. Um, yeah, but I just I, I want the whole. Neighbors experience. So, like, I've 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 been tasered by a rogue cop. I've been stuck in a fire. I've I've had a wedding. Um, I you know lost your husband. I've yeah I've I've, I've lost my husband. Are, are there any other major ones that I haven't had yet? I haven't been thrown out of a plane or anything. Maybe something like that. Big or, stunts would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you see, I want stunts. I don't have enough. I don't have enough stunts. All I right. think I'd I'd like to jump from a burning <laughs> building or something. Uh, we can organize it. Yeah. Could we? Yeah. Great. Well, one thing that really strikes me about Neighbours, and one of the things that I think makes it so successful, is there's so much love and forgiveness in it, you know. It's and, you know, Carl has been forgiven by Susan so many times. But I was going to ask again, you know, forgiveness for your character, for Sadie, for example, and that, mm -hmm. you know, is, is, is that something you think is, is so important to it, you know, these, these feelings, you know, mm -hmm. and that we're all flawed, but... We That's can... exactly the point you made earlier, which I thought was brilliant. Yeah. Was that one of the fantastic things about Neighbours is it's about it is about the fact that ultimately people are looking after each other and and having forgiveness, caring about each other, so that even though amazing things happen on Ramsey Street and there are terrible betrayals and all sorts of things happen, ultimately the power of forgiveness is really ever present. And I, I think that's so rare in TV shows right now. I, I think a lot of stories out there right now are, are you know, a, a, about the friction between people and, and people behaving badly. And obviously that stuff is so much fun to watch and that does exist in Neighbours. But I think that the ethos of the show that we have is is very pure and very wholesome and something that people need a lot right now, especially given what's happened the last few years with COVID and mm. a lot of the trauma that we've all experience mm, it's been mm. actually a very kind of uniting trauma um so i i think i think i we need shows like this which is about which is about human connection and empathy and compassion and and it's something that neighbors does so well um and and that's why it's fun to be a part yeah. of and fun to watch mm. And um, Alan, you you have been reunited with your on-screen daughter, yeah. and uh, but she was in it ten years ago when she was about this high. How long has it been to have have her now back as a, a well, as a fully grown? It's exceptional. Of course, the one time when she came back, which was really interesting, because there was a mid time time in there. Tom was when she came back with Izzy, where Izzy wanted Carl to father another child, and Holly was of an age then when she got, really got the first glimpse of what her mother was prepared to do and how far her mother was prepared to. 
do to survive mm. and get what she wants. Mm. And it was a big turning point for Holly. And it, see, it, it, this is the glorious thing about having an ongoing show like this, because the Holly who's here now is very informed about that. She's like, she is Izzy's daughter, very much Izzy's daughter, but she doesn't want to be Izzy mm. because she's seen Izzy, she's seen her mum at her worst. But can she stop herself being like Izzy? It's so interesting. Mm. And Carl, as, a, as an older man now, hasn't parented children for a long time, hasn't spent a lot of time with Holly, which he regrets. So he's very excited she's back. But what sort of job is he going to do as a father? You know, it's, um, it's fascinating. I oh, can't wait to see where that goes. Um, and Georgie, um, Mackenzie's got a new career. Um, I, I gather, you know, so we should be a lawyer now. And yeah, she's it, fully qualified. Is, yeah. Does this mean she's more likely to be kind of trying to be a bit more logical and a bit more sort of rather than sort of leading with her heart? I think, yeah, I think she's a very, um, you know, she's a real head and heart girl. She is quite evenly balanced in in that sense. She is quite logical and I, I suppose in in the friend group she has now with Holly and, and Sadie, she does kind of take on that role as, as the as the the one who's led by her brain and and is is trying to make you know the moral right choice, um, but but at the same time she is a very compassionate person still and and um, still trying to do the right thing for everyone. She's very moralistic. Um, yeah, but yeah, she she is a fully qualified lawyer now, which at twenty two I think is very good going. Mm. Yeah. Got through that training quick. Yeah, she she got through that Juris Doctor super quickly. <laughs> well, a, a four-year course is now I think you done probably, I think years. Tony might have been a little even quicker. Yeah, I suppose he will. And also, Mackenzie did start working at the law office at like yeah. 18. So, yeah, she's been doing it for a while. And she works at the council. Um, she's busy. She's busy. <laughs> super yeah. busy. But she never seems to be at work. She's no. always walking around, <laughs> just not doing anything. Anyway, yeah. And, and you've been joined by quite a few new cast members, yeah. which is always the way with, with Neighbours. Can mm -hmm. you tell us who we should be looking out for? You know, who's who's already showing a lot of promise and, and you know, is going to become a star? Well, we both love Shiv Palakar. Who uh, plays it, Has. Who plays Has. Yeah. Um, very, fine, very fine actor. Great with comedy. Very good with drama. Oh, um, for sure. And he's, he's, got, he's got a very, very intuitive, uh, inquiring touch to his work so that... He finds things in scenes and, and works with you to find things in scenes that, uh, you know, just embellish the scene and make it even better. That's the mark of great actors and uh, he's doing fabulous work. The new family, the Varga Murphy family, they're headed mm -hmm. up by the two adults, are both very accomplished actors, stage actors, a lot of theatre experience. Um, I've, I've done quite a few scenes with them and again, absolutely marvellous because straight away you're working with pros who know how to analyse scripts, you can work together to make, you can really get the best out of scenes. So you know, there's been some fantastic casting going on. And of course, the little icing on the cake has been the fact that Misha Barton has come into the show. Mm. And it's really interesting the dynamic that's brought in because it, it has obviously internationalised to a certain extent, but not gratuitously. There's a very good reason for her to be there. Her story with with, which we've already seen teased with Byron, is wonderful mm. because it shows her vulnerability as well as her, you know, she's, we know she's high-powered, but we know she's also vulnerable. And, uh, and, and of course, um, hopefully, the, she, her presence will excite interest in the territories we haven't been into before.